Hi guys, welcome to a new video on fake and real. And today we're talking about Michael Kors bags. So here are a couple of tips on how to identify a fake. Let's start with the emblem. The most important part of the emblem is the look should be beautifully polished and it shouldn't chip, crack or flake. The position of the name Michael Kors on the emblem should be centered and also be clear and not sloppy. This is a good example of a fake emblem. This is of course the real thing and as I mentioned a clean and clear polish with no flakes or cracks. The brand name is clearly visible and it's centered. The inside of the bag should also give a elegant and pristine effect. Looking at the pattern and you can see that it's consistent meaning it's one piece each time. The pattern on the back is actually the first layer and is one position. The pattern on the front side also one position as well as one piece. Most MK bags have a label with the full name on it. In this case the Michaels first and then Michael Kors underneath. This should be a clean and visible imprint. As most bags have a double stitching that secures the fabric, Michael Kors has a triangle that closes up the space between the two pockets. As you can see here, two beautiful straight and clean triangles. This is a very good example of a definite fake. Two different colors, the patterns are all over the place. This piece is horizontal and this one is actually going vertical. The patterns are also too clear and this should actually be a little faded. The magnetic clip also has a clean imprint of Michael Kors in full. The thing about expensive bags is the quality is in the details. At first glance the zipper doesn't really show much but let me show you otherwise. The first off the zipper is beautifully polished and has almost a mirror finish as the right side doesn't really have this polished finish. Also Michael Kors imprint should be clean and straight. Another clear indication is actually the zipper top. On the left side you see a beautiful smooth surface that is just one piece and on the right side you can actually see that it consists of two pieces and that is definitely not the hardware of Michael Kors. Every hardware on the bag of MK should consist of one piece that shouldn't flake or chip. The brand name should be clean, clear and straight but not all hardware have imprints. Bags with a flap should have clean stitching and do not have double loops as you see on the right side. One important part is the zipper line. It's never made of plastic and it should have a zipper stop. You can see at the end on the left side. The front of the bag should be clean and the stitches should be clear. As we can see on the right side the Michael Kors name is sloppy as well as the stitching. The stitching is the one thing we can definitely identify a fake. The stitching tells us immediately if it's a quality bag or not. As we see on the left side, the stitching is straight and on the right side, it's sloppy as well as the bottom. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I hope these tips helped you identify a fake Michael Kors. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks again and until next time.